Hey, my name is Dr. Ben, Rescue Germany, and today I want to show you a daily recovery job on an iPhone 40 Pro after massive water damage. Then another technician tried to fix the board and he didn't get it. So the device came here. So I need to transplant the CPU, the Logic EPRO and the NAND flash chip to another working board. And I want to show you how I do this. Have a lot of fun with the video. Here's Dr. Ben. And we start with taking out the NAND flash storage chip. After that, take away the EMI shield and remove the Logic EEPROM. Don't give a fuck about all the components and solder it to the Dana board. Now we just take out the CPU and we need to clean the CPU. We need to prepare the CPU for cleaning. So we just take a ball of solder get it onto the CPU. After that, we take our hot air station and in this case, tweezers to remove the clue. So CPU is almost ready prepared because we often or almost, almost always get problems with high boot voltages because of the deep trench caps. We always take them deep trench caps away on the newer CPU generations. And we just get some UV solder mask on them deep trench cap places and then we just use some UV light to seal it and after that we are ready to reboil that beautiful A16 CPU. After the cleaning process we see just two pads missing, not a problem, not data relevant. Just use UV light and then get it under a stencil, get some solder paste into the stencil and then a fast reboil. Then we get some solder, uh, some flux onto and a little reflow. Again, check, remove them to bolts and get some solder on, reflow, goodbye. We are ready to go. We don't need to add solder onto the board. And now the NAND. The NAND has a completely different design to the NANDs in the generations before. We just need to clean it. And after that, we just need to get it to a nice reball. So paste, air, and we are ready. And now we just get back the NAND to the board. Fine, and the CPU down to the board. And after the CPU sitting down, we are ready to go and ready to recover the important data. Whoa, what a job! iPhone 14 Pro data recovery by BotSwap. We are at the data recovery mode now because we didn't swap the NFC with. So we just need to get in the right six digits code. After that, the data recovery, data restore mode will success and we have access to all the important data. Yeah, nice job. I think it's not really easy because you need to know how does the CPU and all the other parts react for heat? How is the surface of the CPU? How does it like to work with? It's not like uh, you have a blueprint and you can use it for every CPU type or for every BGA type that's completely different. So um, watch the video again and again. Perhaps you can learn something. If you need a data recovery, you are right at rescue minus Com, click on create order, mail in your device for a quick daily recovery job. I would be very happy if you would subscribe the channel, give us a like, comment, check TikTok, Instagram, whatever. I'm out. Yours, Dr. Ben.